is up guys, Cody here, bringing you a Battlefield for China Rising Gul Gulion, Goliath, something, I don't know, Peaks gameplay, I don't, I don't know how you say this map's name, but I like this map a lot. It's, um, it's in the new China Rising DLC, and for, uh, Rush, it's kind of shitty, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of, it's really... I don't know the way the the way the attackers come towards the defenders on this map is really clunk. It's not clunky, but it's really weird. They come from like every single possible angle, po like literally every possible angle. It's it's kind of ridiculous, but I like this map a lot. Honestly, it reminds me of Vietnam more than anything. Hence why I'm using the RPK 74M, which is the new um, support kit weapon. So definitely give that a try. All you have to do is just get three LMG ribbons and a mortar kill. It's pretty damn simple, so definitely give it a try and um, try out this gun. Now, I've uh, seen a lot of reviews on this gun and a lot of other commentators saying that this gun is really... It's not that it's um, like a good gun, because it's, it's kind of a mediocre gun, honestly, and that's what everyone's really saying. And when I first was watching videos how PC had this out before... I was watching like other YouTubers and I seen that they were playing with it and it didn't look bad but then once you actually finally get your hands on it and you use it a little bit you kinda realize what they're talking about and the gun's not it's not terrible but it's not good it's it's kinda like there's just I don't know there's really it's just one of those guns that there's just kinda like eh, it's whatever it's kinda there but I just like it because it's actually like wood and wood and steel you know what I mean and in, in, in this game all the guns are like, you know, that weird plastic composite shit that they use for like the stocks and the grips and the <clears throat> and the rails and stuff. And it's it's cool to see a gun that's finally like they bring back a gun that's like actually wood and steel. And I think it looks nice and it looks cool and it's something different. And especially on this map, it all kind of works because I feel like I'm the Vietnamese and I'm running around and shooting stuff, doing what the Vietnamese were doing in Vietnam back in the day. <laughs> I know that was completely random, and I apologize for coughing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but, um, there's, a, there's like, a really nasty bug on this game, too, by the way. Not, like, a little insect critter running around. But there's a there's a glitch on this game. Not really a glitch, but it's more along the lines of, like... Well, it is a glitch, actually. It's a wall breach. And what you can do, this big-ass uh, thing right in front of me, right here, you can... What you can do is... I believe you can parachute from the top or something, or you might be able to like actually wall breach it and just keep jumping into it and then you'll go through it or something, but I believe you can parachute through the top of it, and what you do, you actually get inside of the mountain, like not in these little cave systems that I'm in right now, but the, like within the actual like cliff thing, and you can shoot out of it and people can't shoot inside, so hopefully DICE realizes this and fixes it immediately because it's a nuisance. Because a lot of people already know about it, and a lot of people are going through and um, using it. And right here, I apologize for showing this, because I kind of didn't realize that this was in the gameplay until, like, right about now. Not going to lie. But um, the RPK 74M is actually really good. It's not, well, not really good, but it's it's... It's just a gun that you should probably give it a try. I mean, it's not the greatest, not the worst. It's just an in-between gun. And so you might like it, actually. Because, like, I don't mind it, and I can use it, and I can do pretty good with it. But, I don't know. It's just one of those guns that's just kind of mediocre. It's in-between. It's There's, like, the rate of fire is not that great. The damage isn't all that good. It doesn't have... It only has 46 rounds. It's just... It's just a little... It's a middle gun in-between. Like, you would much rather use an M249 or the M240B. There's just a lot of other LMGs that are way better than it. So, is it worth it? Is it worth trying to get the assignment? Yes, you should at least give it a try. Don't just go off of my word and not use it at all. Give it a try. Maybe you might like it. Maybe you might not. It all just depends on your playing style. Because this gun is actually really good if you kind of sit back and pick them off. Because the recoil is not that bad if you tap fire. And if, if you guys don't know how to tap fire, let me know. And um, I will do a guide on how to tap fire or a tip on how to, how to tap fire. Because it's really easy. And it's really, really useful. But that is all I have for you guys today. And remember, if you liked it, please leave a like and a comment. And possibly a subscription to my channel. I will see you guys later.